How to create an animated space background in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Inside your project's edit window, go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects and go to add a Fusion Composition clip to your edit timeline. Select this new clip, holding Ctrl or Command if you're a Mac user and press D to alter the duration if you wish. Right click on your new Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion node section, we will first insert an ellipse tool that we will use to create the star particles. With this new node selected and with left or right view selected below this new tool, go to Inspector, next to where you can see a preview of your ellipse shape above your Fusion timeline. To add a gentle blur to the edges of your ellipse, increase Soft Edge to 0.015 and to create an appropriate size for your star particles, reduce width and height to 0.015. As an option, if you wish to change the color of the stars from its default white shade, go to select a background tool and click on the gray box alongside ellipse one, dragging this to the blue effect mask alongside background one to make a connection. With background one selected, under inspector and color, Double click on the color box below background to choose the shade that you wish to apply to your stars. In this particular example here, I'll stick with the default shade of white. Click OK once you are done. Back in the notes panel, hold in shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window to find the P emitter tool. Select this and go to click on add. In order to apply these white blurred ellipse shapes, to our animation effect, we will first need to apply a setting which will enable us to connect these first two nodes to P Emitter 1. With this latest emitter node selected, under Inspector, go to Style and change Style from Point to Bitmap. Connect Background 1 to the new yellow arrow which appears alongside P Emitter 1 so that your blurred ellipse shapes become the particles that will be emitted. With P Emitter 1 still selected, back in Inspector, Go to Fade Controls. To have the stars fade in and out gently throughout the animation, increase Fade In to 0.4, so that each star particle spends the first 40% of its lifespan fading in. Change Out to 0.6, so that each star spends the final 40% of its lifespan fading away. Go to Size Controls. To add slight variation to the height and width dimensions of your stars, Increase size variance to 0.01. Go to region. Change region from sphere to all, so that the star particles will appear across your entire canvas. Go to controls. To ensure that not too many star particles appear on your canvas, under emitter, reduce number from 10 to four. To make a slight variation on the number of particles that appear in any instance whilst your animation is running, Increase number variance to 1. And to ensure that the star particles last on screen longer, increase lifespan to 300. Double click on the velocity header below. To have the star particles float at a gentle speed, increase velocity slightly to 0.0125. And to ensure that the particles float towards the viewer, change angle Z to 270. With P emitter 1 still selected, Hold and shift and press space and go to add a P render tool so that DaVinci Resolve can process your particle effects. And to add a gentle glow to your star particles, with P render 1 still selected, hold and shift and press space once more and go to add a glow tool. Connect glow 1 to media out 1 so that your floating star particles will appear on your final video. And in preview with either left or right view, Go to one of the middle frames on your current Fusion Composition clip on the Fusion timeline so that you will be able to see a preview of your star particles as you are editing the properties for the Glow node. Here in this example, I will go to frame 60. Under Inspector and Controls, reduce Glow Size to 2.4 so that the vibrant rays from each particle don't spread out too thinly across the canvas. Increase Glow to 0.9 to enhance the brightness of your star particles slightly. And as an option, if you wish to make the stars more vibrant, increase the value for blend. Here in this example, I will keep this value as 0 
Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.